Hi guys, uh, in this video we will take up one more problem on convolution sum uh, of an infinite length sequence. Uh, this time let inputs to the system is x of n is equal to alpha power n e of n and alpha is in between 0 and 1 and impulse response of the system h of n is equal to e of n minus 2. Find, find convolution sum, convolution sum or find output of a LTA system ok LTA system solution step 1 what is step 1? we have to sketch x of n and h of minus n right uh, but what is alpha to the power n u of n and what do you mean by alpha is in between 0 and 1 uh, say if alpha is 0 0.5 I have assumed that alpha is 0 0.5 why because they have given the condition that alpha takes the value in between 0 and 1 I have taken 0.5 if I try to sketch this sequence so n at n equal to 0 uh, alpha power 0 is alpha is what 0 0.5 0 0.5 power 0 is 1 right it is 1 when n equal to 1 what is 0.5 power 1? It is 0.5. When n equal to 2, what is 0.5 square? So it is 0 0.25. And it goes on. So it is uh, it is basically a it is basically a exponentially decreasing signal. Okay. It goes till infinity. Right? So this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. And why don't we have samples at n equal to minus 1 and n equal to minus 2 and n equal to minus 3 and so on? We don't have samples here because there is a term called as unit step function, and unit step function is defined only from n varying from 0 to infinity. So, therefore, there is no samples in the negative side of n. Fine. So, this is our x of n, which is equal to alpha power n u of n. I did not specify the sample value here because alpha they did not give but generally alpha if it is in between 0 and 1 it is exponentially decreasing sequence fine so x of n is exponentially decreasing so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and dot 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 what about h of minus n? Uh, what is h of n? h of n is actually this value, right? u of n minus 2, right? Which is nothing but u of n shifted right 2 times. It is like this. And its amplitude is 1. What do I need is h of minus n. If uh, h of n is this, what is h of minus n? It is nothing but so mirror image of this sequence. So this sequence starts from minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and it goes on till inf minus infinity right and it, its amplitude is 1 so this is h of minus n right so this is 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and it goes on so it starts from minus 2 and its amplitude is 1 this is n and this is n okay so first step was to sketch x of n and h of minus n. So we did. Next, and then I need to replace the independent variable from n to k. I will do it in the same sequence. I am not going to plot again. Now it is x of k and h of minus k. This we did because of the uh, uh, equation, which is summation x of k and h of n minus k. Right. Now what is the next step? Next step, step two, is to bring the two sequence in the same. axis k okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 minus 6 4 so x of k does not change so it's a exponentially decreasing signal this is x of k it started from 0 and ends at infinity and h of minus k it is starting from minus 2 
minus 3, minus 4, minus 5 and it goes on till minus infinity. So this is h of h of minus k. Now I need to assign uh, a controlling sequence. Uh, the slider is here now. Right? And what is the controlling uh, index now? This is minus 2, so it is nothing but n minus 2. If this is in minus 3, then my controlling index will be n minus 3. If this is in plus 2, uh, my controlling index will be at n plus 2. Okay. Now, what is the next step? Step 3. Step 3 is to move h of minus k from minus infinity to plus infinity. This slider has to be moved from minus infinity to infinity. Right? And then I need to decide what and all the overlap region and what and all the non overlapping region. Now, uh, this n minus 2 slider starting from minus infinity till minus 1 these two sequence does not overlap right but these two sequence starts to overlap when this n minus 2 sliders start uh, is at n equal to 0 at n equal to 0 this starts to overlap and 1 2 3 4 dot 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 overlap continues till n minus 2 goes to infinity right uh, non overlapping region is still is still till this slider is at minus 2 okay this is actually non overlapping region this is non overlap region so, so n minus 2 is less than n minus 2 is less than 0 right less than sorry this is minus 1 so n minus 2 n minus 2 is less than till n minus 2 is less than 0 or n is less than 2 so y of n is equal to x of k and h of k no overlap so it is equal to 0 fine now overlap region so this is x of k and what I'll do, I'll bring this n minus 2 somewhere to 4. So bring them to here, 4. Okay. Which is n minus 2 and if this is 4. So the overlap portion starts from 0 and ends at depending upon where I keep this n minus 2. Okay. Therefore, n minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. Or n is greater than or equal to 2. What is y of n? y of n is summation k varying from minus infinity to infinity x of k h of n minus k so y of n is equal to summation k start from overlap start from 0 and ends at n minus 2 okay, overlap start from 0 to n minus 2 x of k if x of n is alpha power n u of n, what is x of k? x of k is nothing but alpha power k u of k, right? It is nothing but alpha power k. And h of n minus k, right? And if h of n is u of n minus 2, what is h of n minus k? Anyhow, it does not matter because this is the amplitude, this is the impulse from impulse uh, impulse response, but what its amplitude is unit step function, anyhow it is 1. Okay. So what did we end up with? So y of n is equal to summation k varying from 0 to n minus 2 alpha power k. Right? 0 to n minus 2 alpha power k. So there is a standard result which we need to know. Summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n is 1 minus alpha to the power capital N divided by 1 minus alpha. Okay? So I have to use this standard result here. So this here I have n minus 2. So I need to bring it in the form of n minus 1. So I can write it as summation k varying from 0 to n minus 1 minus 1, which is nothing but n minus 2 alpha power k. Okay, now this is in the standard form in the sense summation n varying from 0 to n minus 1 alpha power n. Here alpha is, uh, n is nothing but k, independent variable is k here. This is nothing but what? 1 minus 1 minus alpha alpha power n. So this n comes here, right? Similarly, this this n is nothing but n minus 1 whole divided by 
1 minus alpha ok so therefore if I combine the output y of n is what it is 0 so y of n is 0 for n less than 2 for n less than 2 and it is equal to 1 minus alpha to power capital uh, 1 minus alpha power n minus 1 divided by 1 minus alpha and this condition is for n greater than or equal to 2 so n greater than or equal to 2 so this is the output of the system